Hello, welcome to the Monday, November 15th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. This weekend, uh, many individuals received email that claimed to originate from the FBI and informed the individual that their organization was the victim of some form of intrusion that the FBI is investigating. Now, of course, fake emails like this aren't necessarily new, but what was different here was that these emails actually originated from legitimate FBI email infrastructure. Spam House did an analysis of the headers, proving that all the signatures and such were correct, that the originating mail server was actually operated by the FBI. According to a statement the FBI released on Sunday, the mail server in question here was used by a law enforcement enterprise portal to push notifications and apparently was misconfigured, allowing anybody to use it to send arbitrary messages. That being said, if your organization is the victim and part of an FBI investigation, you should expect a personal visit by an FBI agent, maybe a phone call. Always tricky in situations like this to essentially bootstrap trust when you're meeting these people for the first time. Checking credentials, of course, is always a good idea, but I also always recommend uh, to attend uh, your local InfraGuard chapters meeting. That's an organization that uh, works with the FBI, and it's typically a good way to meet your local FBI agents, in particular those who are dealing uh, with uh, cybercrime issues. Well, and if you are receiving any odd emails from the FBI or others that contain office documents. Uh, we do have another nice walkthrough from Didier in how to reverse malicious office documents if they are obfuscated using Base64. Nice step-by-step -step instructions, including a quick video from Didier from this weekend. And we have some updates for Zoom, but before you go ahead and update your Zoom client on your system, probably not a bad idea, uh, but these updates may not affect you. The only sort of end user client that's affected here is the Zoom Linux client. The other issues, uh, they are uh, issues with the web consoles. So that's if you installed the Zoom on-premise meeting connector or the Zoom on-premise virtual room connector. And here you either have a denial of service uh, condition or a remote code execution issue. However, in order to exploit the remote command execution issue, you actually need credentials for the web portal administrator. So not too much to worry about here, but probably not a bad idea uh, just uh, to be safe uh, to double check if you run the latest version of the Zoom client. There are continuous updates to this and uh, you definitely want to be up to date. Just the same as with browsers and such Monday morning when you come into the office uh, after you get your first cup of coffee, uh, maybe double check uh, some of uh, this commonly used and commonly updated software that you have the latest version. We also got another update for VMware vCenter and now we did have a number of critical updates for that in the recent past. This one is not super critical but still something you want to attend to. It would allow a normal user to escalate privileges to an administrator if you are using integrated Windows authentication. And with last week's Microsoft patch Tuesday, we got a patch for CVE 2021-3448-4. And Microsoft described this patch as an arbitrary directory deletion vulnerability. Well, it turns out there may have been more to it. And Microsoft only really sort of patched the proof of concept that it was provided with. Instead, uh, using the Windows user profile service, it may be 
possible to just impersonate arbitrary other users. Now, you may or may not need to know someone's password. The, the write-up here is really not all that clear. And um, maybe what I'm suspecting a little bit, there was some communication issues also between uh, the person who originally found the vulnerability and uh, Microsoft. We do have a very brief uh, write-up here in the Abdel Hamid uh, blog. Uh, now there is also a proof of concept and a little bit of more extensive write-up, which sadly is only provided as a Microsoft Word document. So open at your own risk. In the show notes, I'll link uh, to the blog post that in itself then contains link to the Word document and the proof of concept. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.